Hi, I'm Holly of Holly Soap Making, and in this video I'll be making a soap using Cambrian Blue Clay. You'll find information and links listed in the description box below, and if you're interested in the recipe I use, I'll post it at the end entered into a soap calculator. Cold process soap involves the use of sodium hydroxide, so be sure to protect your skin and eyes when making soap. And always follow lye-safe handling procedures during the entire soap making process, even when cleaning up. Check out the links below for more information on lye safety and beginner soap making. I purchased two different brands of clay that were labeled as Cambrian Blue Clay. In this video, I'll be showing the soap I made with the more green colored clay you see on the left. I did make a batch using the light blue clay, but when I added it, the soap immediately turned a neutral beige color. I was hoping that it might turn back to blue as the pH lowered after saponification, but the next day when I cut it, the soap was still the same beige color, and even after two weeks, it looks exactly the same. If you've tried either of these clays in soap, or even found another brand that you like, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. I prepared the clay as I normally do by adding just a little distilled water to make it more fluid and easier to blend in later. I've read that Cambrian clay can vary in color from green to blue, but as you can see here, this one was a grayish green. I also prepared a little white kale and clay to add to a small amount of soap so I could create a simple drop swirl. The fragrance for this soap was a blend of eucalyptus, rosemary, and peppermint essential oils. I wanted to stop blending at an emulsion since I had more blending to do when I added the clays. I watched how the soap looked on the blender shaft. When it was smooth and consistent, with no signs of oil beating up or separating, I knew it had reached an emulsion. I then poured off about one and a quarter cup of soap to use for the uncolored drop swirl and the remaining six cups for the Cambrian clay. I added the Cambrian clay I prepared earlier at a rate of 2 teaspoons per pound of oils. For the plain soap, I added three teaspoons of the hydrated kale and clay to about one and a quarter cup of soap.
For the pour, I did a simple drop swirl, adding lines of the white soap and pouring both soaps from up high and down low. I stopped pouring when the soap reached about two and a half inches high in the mold and then used the leftovers to make some little guest soaps. I oven processed the soap as I normally do just to make sure that it went through gel phase. This will help the color look a bit bolder and usually allows me to unmold the soap a bit sooner. I removed the soap the next morning then unmolded and cut it that afternoon. I used one of my regular loaf molds for this soap, but I only filled it to two and a half inches high, so I could cut the soaps in a tall and skinny size. Each soap was three and a half by two and a half by one inch thick. Since this was a cold processed soap, I made sure the type of lye was set to sodium hydroxide or NaOH. My recipe oil weight was 1100 grams. My lye concentration was set to 35%, which means my lye solution consisted of 35% sodium hydroxide and 65% water. If you'd rather not use this much of a water discount, you can set the lye concentration to 33% or 31%. I left the super fat at 5%, but if you're concerned about the soap being too drying, you can increase this to 6% or whatever you prefer. I set the fragrance usage rate to 25 grams per kilogram. This recipe does contain lard, so I'll provide a lard-free recipe that I really like following this one.
Once you have all of your information entered, you just select to calculate the recipe and then to view or print it. SoapCalc will give you a nice listing of all of your ingredients along with the amount of sodium hydroxide required to saponify your oils. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope you found something useful here to help you in your soap making.